Hello, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As I'm discussing the thanatology and this is the last few series of lecture in which I will be discussing time since death. And this is also known as the post-mortem clock. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that I will be discussing time since death, which is also known as the post-mortem clock, the post-mortem interval, and the time between death and examination. And this is the most important objective of death investigation. And two methods are commonly used, the rate method and the concurrence method. The rate method is basically the changes which appear after death. And we study the changes in which state they are and they correlate with the uh, time. And then we give the time bracket of the uh, post-mortem interval. And these are the changes basically, which are the immediate changes, which are the signs of death and the early changes, which are uh, after some time and the late changes. So in this lecture, I will be discussing uh, immediate changes. So the time since death or the postmortem clock, also known as the postmortem interval or the time between death and examination. For investigation of a crime, it is very important to determine time since death, which is postmortem interval. That means since how long this person or this body is dead. It provides a clue to the investigator to institute a suitable inquiries for the investigation of the crime. It helps in the crime investigation. And this estimation is, as we know, it's difficult, but it, we can give an approximation, an approximation which is possible if proper observations are made from beginning to the point when you are examining. So the two methods for this purpose are commonly used, the rate method and the concurrence method. The rate method is the study of the postmortem changes which are going on in the body after death. And these changes are time-framed and have a definitive chronological order in appearance and in passing off. So by studying these changes in which state they are, we can calculate the time since death. And this is calculated from the changes which appear after death. And the concurrence method, concurrence method is this also known as circumstantial evidence. That is the sum event is going on concurrently. And this process may be going on either in the surrounding or within the body. And then we correlate that incident with the time frame. So starting with the rate method, as we know that this is the changes which are appearing after death and they have a chronological order of appearance and passing off time uh, frame which, is, uh, which appear and pass up in a chronological order. And by studying, we can give the time bracket. So we start this discussion on the changes which are up here. They, these changes are classified as immediate changes, the early changes, and the late changes. Now starting with the immediate change, the immediate changes are basically the signs of death which are appearing at the moment of dying. That means loss of tripod of life cessation of uh, nervous system, cessation of circulation, and cessation of respiration. So the immediate signs of death are that the death will be declared when there is permanent fixed dilated pupils, absence of all nerve reflexes, cessation of respiration without aids, that we will confirm that this respiration has stopped with auscultation and other methods. And similarly, the cessation of cardiac activity, we do the ECG and if a flat line is coming, that means the electrical activity of heart is gone. So if the heart sounds and the respiration are absent over a continuous period of several minutes, then that can be certified. So these are the immediate uh, 
signs which are to confirm death, to certify death at the moment of death. So the summary of this lecture is that we have started discussion on the time uh, since death, which is post-mortem clock, post-mortem interval, and time between death and examination. And we have learned that the most important objective of the death investigation is to determine since how long this body is dead. And we have understood that there are two methods which are commonly employed, the rate method and the concurrence method. And we have started discussion in this lecture on the rate method. And these are basically the changes which uh, appear after the death. And these are immediate changes, the early changes and the late changes. And in this lecture, we have discussed the immediate changes which appear, which are basically to certify death at the moment of death. So thank you very much. Take care, Allah Hafiz. We'll continue the changes after death. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name. Thank you very much.